so today we will be seeing how to calculate the address of the element in case of the three dimensional array using the row major order so first of all we know that 3d array logically we have seen it is represented in the matrix form so how it will be represented in your memory so it will not be present as it is in 3d form in the memory it is here it is a long tape of the bytes in the linear form in one dimension so we uh, how it is represented in the memory that we will be seeing now and we will be seeing how to calculate the address of any element whatever element is given suppose you are asked to give calculate the address of this element so how to calculate the address of this element using the row major order so why i am using this row major order there are two ways row major order as well as the column major order so we will be seeing here for three dimensional array we have covered for two dimensional array by using the row major order as well as for the column major order so here i will be co covering for the row major order we know that c language in default uses row major order in order to represent the elements in linear form so now let's see so we are taking the same example of the 3d array which we have seen earlier also so here we know that why the 3d array it is because having the three dimensions so this first dimension this second dimension and third dimension so three sizes we have to give that so that means what is the definition of the 3d array we have seen it is the collection of the elements this the first subscript will be giving you how many elements it is having so it is collection of the element here two so uh, th that is this one element and this two element and this each element in case of 3d array it is a 2d array of the uh, dimension 3 into 2 this is your one row two row three row and this is one column and two column right one element and this is two elements so two element also is a 2d array that is this is a three row this one one uh, this one row then this two row and this three row and two columns one this is one column and this is two column these are located in contiguous memory location uh, one after the other so now first let us see how uh, since we are doing the row major order how it, it, uh, it is represented in your memory so by the name itself you can understand row major so it is stored in the memory in the row order that is so if you consider here actually for this first element and this is your second element so suppose if you represent like this you are having like this the whole like this and we are having uh, in that we are having two here two elements is there so one element and two element so let us give us zero index and this one index this each element is a array of 2d so therefore uh, there are three rows which are uh, present so this let us take like this 0 1 and 2 so these are there and this represent the rows and how many columns are there you can see here one one column and two column that is this one so let us represent in this manner so 0 1 and this is we are taking for column second element is in the same format that is three rows are there in this case how it is 1 2 12 right so therefore you can see how it will be filled in your memory it is a row major order you are doing the row major order therefore it will be stored row wise so first this element actually which is there since the indexing is starting from 0 so for therefore 0 element actually of this will first fill and that is row wise so therefore row wise means this uh, zeroth row of this element is what it is having this this is a zeroth row right it is having first of all one as well as two so therefore you can see here i have represented in the linear form so the, you first of all let's consider the memory address to be 200 first of all the memory address is always in the hexadecimal form so simplicity purpose i am taking this number so let's say if your um, element starts from the address that is it is located at the address 200 the zeroth element of the array and then accordingly we know that uh, since it's an integer it takes four bytes so therefore each element will take four four bytes so therefore gapping of four bytes are there so therefore if you see here therefore your one is present here you can see here then as i said it is stored row order wise so this this zeroth row is this one having these values 1 and 2 so 1 2 then the next row will be filled that is the one first row 3 and 4 so 3 and 4 is there then the next row that is second row will be filled it is having 5 and 6 so 5 and 6 then 
the zeroth element is filled actually row wise now the first element will be filled again it will be the, the row that is the zeroth row of the first element that is 7 and 8 so 7 this 7 then this 8 and then again this first row of the first element so therefore this will be filled the first uh, row is 9 and 10 so you can see 9 and 10 is filled again this is finished again the second row will be filled and it is what it is having the value 11 and 12 so these elements will be filled 11 and 12 so you can see here why the name is given as row major order because it is storing it in the row form so row, row wise it is filling your uh, memory with these elements so this and first of all it is stored in contiguous memory location so distance of four bytes are present this is how it is represented in the linear form so this is not represented same as it is this is your 3d array so it is represented in memory in the linear form in one dimension form in this manner so this is how we have to represent it now let us see how to calculate the address of the element how to uh, draw the formula for the same by using the row major order 